Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Michael. I used to be the technician at Freddy's and was the one who contacted the owners of Fazbear's Fright after the place burned down. Trust me, the equipment you're using right now is much more stable and much less likely to catch fire. Probably. Anyways, the building that you're currently in is a Fazbear storage building. Basically, when a character was scrapped, it was sent here to be used for parts, assuming its parts were still usable. That's why all the animatronics we found in the building were partially dismantled. I'm still working on repairing them, so not all of them are working yet. I'll keep working on them as the week goes on. Now, we're unsure whether or not this will be the final building that the horror attraction takes place in, but while we're still searching for a new location, we need you to keep an eye on these robots. So, allow me to give you a rundown of what to expect. As you saw last time, the animatronics tend to wander. Fazbear Entertainment was aware of this, so a security system was already installed. You have a security surveillance tablet, just like last time, except this one isn't mounted to the wall. You can use this to monitor the security cameras mounted throughout the building. If the cameras turn to static, don't worry, they'll be online again shortly. The next thing you should know about is what to do when Freddy and his friends get a little bit too close for comfort. To your right, you have a second tablet that allows you to activate and deactivate three heaters, one for each entrance to the room you're in. If somebody is, let's say, on your right, turn on the right heater. The animatronics are programmed to avoid temperatures hot enough to cause them to overheat and will leave. Once they leave, you can turn the heater off again. Simple enough. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, why can't I leave the heaters on the whole time? There's two reasons. One, your room would become uncomfortably hot and your legs would start sticking to your chair. Two, Mangle. Mangle is that pink and white fox that you can see in the back room with the other characters. Now, Mangle was originally in a room called the Kid's Cove, which is where all the toddlers would be. To help keep track of them, Mangle was given thermal imaging. I know this because, well, I was the one who originally installed it. Now, that creates a problem since heat is your main method of defense. If you leave the heaters on for too long, Mangle will start crawling through the air vent connected to your office. You don't want that so use the heater sparingly. The last thing I need to go over is the animatronic from the last location, Spring Bonnie. It survived the fire, most of it at least, so it's in the building with you now. The problem is, since this animatronic is much older than the others, its programming isn't as advanced. This means that you can use the heaters all you want, but it won't work on him. To compensate for this, we've installed a button that lets you administer a controlled shock into whatever room you choose. It's too weak to affect the others, but it should work on him. So, to recap, use the heaters if somebody comes near, don't use them long enough for Mangle to start moving, and shock Spring Bonnie to get him to stay away. I think that's everything. See you tomorrow.